Okay, now that we've installed the studs here, the new ones that they supply with the kit, uh, we got everything all locked down on both sides. Uh, then we went up here and just go ahead and tighten these down now, now that everything keeps firm. Uh, what we did is we slid our hoses underneath here. It goes in here. That's why get, you kind of keep this panel clear. That way you can get it up in there. Go ahead and lock this down here on the hose. Uh, put this hose in here. We leave them longer. That way when you come down here, when you put your T in to mount your regulator, you'll see that step when we get to that. But uh, now that we've did that, we got everything all locked down in here. Now we can go ahead and put back our cover. But before we put our cover on, there used to be on this particular side here where you could run winter or summer. It was different altitude issues. So what we did is we drilled this out here, okay? Because what they do is they supply you an extension rod. And the existing rod that's on here, what we're going to do is just screw this onto the rod. If you look in here, you can see the rod. Okay, so we're just going to screw this on here. And what that does is allow us to pull that through that new panel now. That's why we got to drill this. Okay, get this going. Okay, now we got that started. Okay, just all I do is just finger, finger lock it down. It's not going to move anywhere or vibrate. There's nothing on that. Okay, so what I'll do is just bring this up here now, and then just kind of feed that through there. You'll see that kind of pop through. Okay, we got it to pop through. Okay, now don't forget. On this side here, we had a wire, okay? So we got to make sure we install that back on there. So through that, we'll just stick, go ahead and stick this through this. Put this on here. And then go ahead, just make sure that this pops back through again, you know, because you don't want to lock it down. Now the bottom two, you're not going to reinstall back. Um, there's not going to be no vibration issues or anything like that, so it'll be fine. They've been doing this a long time like this, so. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and lock this down. And grab this here. Go ahead and just tighten this back. That one will be your next step. Now all this portion is done up here. Okay, we we'll get this locked down. We'll put our cat back on there. Okay, just lock her down good. And now you just go ahead and take your knob that you had. Just make sure it's still clear there. Don't strip it. Take your time and put it on there. Go ahead and do that. Just make sure you can pull it in and out. Now you're good to go. You know your choke's fine. Make sure everything clears here as you do it. You're good to go on that. Now the second step then when we get to the regulator assembly is when we're going to get back down to this here now. And then that's why we decided this side would be a little bit easier for it. Everything panned out this way to mount the regulator up in here to keep it away from objects and things like that. So we'll go to that step right now.